So again, I ask you, is it Prince William and Kate Middleton that are separating? Let's just, just put this out there. I, for one, take no satisfaction in any type of discussion about a couple, especially someone who's married, separating and destroying of a family. But this video is just me being ironic and also just pretty much playing the game that the UK press and to some certain, to, to an extent, the US press and the Australian press play. It's never fun when a rabbit has the gun. And you know, when you point one finger, three is usually pointed right back at you. Literally all this summer, actually from the top of this year in January, Throughout this entire summer, we heard rumor after rumor after rumor after article after article about Meghan and Harry separating. And this rumor was really based in nothing other than the fact that Meghan was not with Harry during the spare media tour. Which says a lot because if she was there with him doing his whole media tour for the spare book, they would have said she's trying to hog up all the attention. But I digress. But it really came ahead this summer when they were just doing separate things, like mostly just work-related stuff they were doing separately, or they would be out somewhere that was separate from each other. Pretty normal couple stuff, right? Wrong. Because according to the UK press, a couple can't go to the market by themselves, a couple can't go to a job or an event for work by themselves um they got to be attached at the hip 24 7 otherwise there will be speculations of rumors which brings me to the topic for the day this right here so because if we were to go by the standards of the uk press and everyone else when a couple does something separately that means they're headed for a divorce Am I wrong? So it was confirmed by the palace that Kate Middleton would not be attending this year's Earthshot Prize Awards in Singapore with Prince William. It is said her absence is due to the fact that Prince George will be taking exams around that time and she wants to be there to support him. <laughs> oh, mind you, I would never criticize a parent for wanting to put their child first and to make sure that they have a positive, uh, impactful upbringing. But what was that same grace from Meghan Markle for how many years at this point? She has a two-year-old, she has a four-year-old, and I'm sure the times when Harry was doing stuff on his own, that she just wanted to be there to support her kids and be a mom. I mean, if we're going by this article and we're going by, you know, the grace that we're showing Kate, Shouldn't that be applied to Megan as well? Shouldn't that be extended to her? Shouldn't she have that grace to be a mother, to want us to make sure her kids grow up in a healthy environment and grow up to be just productive, I don't know, good citizens? The answer is absolutely not. Because if you even think about a lot of these discussions when it comes to Megan and Harry, the kids is never brought up. It's just like they, the media just completely erased them and they don't matter because if it was left up to them, Harry would leave Meghan right this moment and go back to the UK begging on bending knees to his father for forgiveness and his brother. And he will be back to the old Harry drinking in the pub, drinking and falling out of clubs and forget that, that mixed biracial woman over there with her partially biracial children that's what they will want but no yes kate middleton gets the privilege she gets a lot of privileges but she also gets the privilege of never being attacked by the media well at least since megan came into the picture and the more and more the more and more time passes we come to realize everything megan and harry have said about the machine, the institution, this lady, her husband, her father-in-law, and her mother-in-law. It's all true. I mean, do they not realize that we have something called social media now and there are people who are on the internet who would not just sit back and just allow them to keep pissing on us and telling us that it's rain? 
Because do you remember this article literally maybe a month and a half ago? I spoke about this topic before, and you can check that out up here. However, in this article by the New York Post, it was stated that Kate Middleton has making late night phone calls to kind of be this bridge between Meghan, Harry, and William. She's trying to be this peacemaker. And they keep trying to paint Kate to be this person that she's just trying to mend fences. But ma'am, where were you in November of 2018 when that whole article came out about how Meghan made you cry? And it just changed the trajectory of her public image and how people looked at her. Where were you at then being the peacemaker? <laughs> You're a little too late for that now. But literally like two or three days later, New York Post came out with another article contradicting everything they just said previously about her Kate being a peacemaker. And it made her seem like the bitter one. And then this article made it seem like it was William trying to be the peacemaker. <laughs> Mind you, being in this type of content and doing this type of content for as long as I've been doing it now and, and, and being in support of Meghan and Harry watching all their documentaries, watching their interviews, and pretty much catching up on all of the royal kind of bubble that we all live in right now because we are interested in this. During those years, you kind of realize that, yes, the institution is old and it never changes, ever. And I say that to say that this playbook we've seen before. We've seen it with Diana and Charles. We've seen this numerous times. When there is a issue... And at the time, the public may not know this, but if you go back to those old articles, those old publications, when it was between, before we knew that Diana and Charles was separating, there was a lot of briefing between both of them. A lot. And it looked as innocent as it looked right now with these two. And again, I am not saying that I want this for anyone not at all what i'm saying is it was good for the goose it's good for the gander there is no way you can sit up here and tell me at this point that everything megan and harry has said about how the media has used them in particular particularly megan as a cover-up for other stuff that's going on in that family there's no way you can sit up here and tell me or deny that at this point and there's no way you can sit up and, and try to say that there is no projecting that's happening. Not at all. Especially with Megan. There's a lot of projecting on Megan from a lot of people. Not just these racist Karens, not just these racist Kens, but from a lot of people. Even from black people, there's a lot of projecting onto Megan. For what, I do not know, but there's a lot of projecting onto this one woman. And if you're going back to the separating separation rumors, those separating separation rumors could be true. It just might be the wrong couple. And again, I do not wish this on anyone. But if we're going by what or the or the the method of how the media is measuring how Megan and Harry could potentially be separating, then if that's the case, you have to apply that to William and Kate. Because they've been doing separate things for a while now. Remember this one? Mind you, before I even got into this type of content, I remember when I was like a teenager, maybe even a kid, I remember how the media used to try to uh, or portray that Diana and Camilla were friends. <laughs> and I know I'm not wrong about that because I remember when they used to say it, I'd be like, how can they say that they're friends and that is the woman who destroyed her marriage and made her life a living hell? How can... How how is that how is that even possible? And then just see this article, same playbook, again, this old institution never changes, not one bit, not one bit.
here's the thing. The people that support Megan and Harry, whether you want to call them Harry Megan supporters, Sussex Squad members, whoever, they don't care about what these two got going on. What they care about is the very hypocritical, the bias, the uh, obvious co-oping and working together to kind of create some sort of narrative that can help disguise whatever issues these two have going on while also deflecting and putting everything and projecting onto Harry and Meghan while using them as a distraction. That's what we care about. I think it's important that we stop responding to a, the reaction and actually focus on the cause. And I think I'll say that again. I think it's time you guys stop focusing on the reaction and focus on the cause. For those of you who are in the back. For those of you who is all the way in the back. I hope you hear me. Because I think there's a point where everything that you say about Meghan and Harry, people will start to understand and realize that you're actually saying that about Kate and William. I'm just saying.